This week we are discussing the first four chapters of I Was Told There'd Be Cake by Sloane Crosley. And I'm sorry I'm on the bathroom floor right now in a very green bathroom. I'm in between locations and this is just where I happen to be at the moment. I will admit it took some time for me to get back into the mindset of reading um, something that's a little bit more methodic. I hope I'm saying the right word there on a book club channel. But this is a tone that really appeals to me because I enjoy planning and I enjoy organization, things that are very organized. Um, but it is undeniably very different from our last book. Now you guys should know this about me by now, but there are a couple things that I really like in a humor essay. And one of those things is when the story cycles back around into itself or else draws in some sort of bigger picture meaning. When a story is cyclical in some sort of way, that is like literary porn for me. And I thought that um, Sloane Crosley, the first chapter of Sloane Crosley's book did that perfectly. It was that moment where she released the plastic ponies onto the train, but in doing so she transferred that fear of dying and leaving something weird behind to someone else that was on the train, or at least she did in her imagination, and I thought that was really clever. However, I felt like the second chapter was maybe trying to handle a little bit too much. Um, I wrote down some of the things that were going on in it. it. It went from fire, to Judaism, to camp, to imaginary friends, and then to lice, and there were other little stories sprinkled in there as well. But I did, however, I appreciated the analysis of how bizarre and brainwashy those summer camps can be because I went to a few of those myself when I was little and it wasn't until I was older that I realized, wow, those were kind of like cults. And I also wrote down that there were a few times in these four chapters where I felt like the author was expecting the audience to know some things that I didn't think were common knowledge, um, especially things about parts of New York City or parts of the Northeast in general. And I also wrote down that at times it felt like the author wasn't seeing past her own upbringing in a way. But then again, I also wrote down that um, I'm not sure how anybody can be expected to see past that and to envision their audience as every single other person in the world. But I did feel that a little bit more explaining would have been nice in a few of the sections. But overall, I am really appreciating the thought that seems to be going into these essays and the detail allotted to word choice and the careful construction of sentences because these do feel like very structured essays. Also, I think I told you guys to pay close attention to the author's note in the beginning because I found it particularly interesting. My specialty um, in the creative writing program that I graduated from was creative nonfiction, which is a big part of why we read a lot of creative nonfiction here on Wednesdays. And in one of the classes I took, one of the things that we kept coming back to was how much of creative nonfiction is truth, or how much creative can you put into the nonfiction and it still be considered nonfiction. And we also talked a lot about how you can not get sued, which I was always very interested in. But I found Sloane Crosley's author's note particularly compelling because she mentioned composite characters. That's a quote. Composite characters have been created, so I wanted to know what you guys thought about that and if it affected what you thought about the author's credibility in some of these stories. Next week we will be discussing the next four chapters of I Was Told There Be Cake from the good people of this dimension to Fuck You Columbus. And I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say that this week because it's an actual chapter title. This week I would love to hear your thoughts on the book so far, in particular what you think of the writing style so far and if you are having trouble adjusting to it after our last book. Also I would love to hear your thoughts on that author's note too. So read up and I will see you guys Wednesday.